much. All right, good morning, and welcome to the committee on land use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Jr. I'm the chair of this committee. Before we begin, I would like to recognize that today, this committee is conducting its, its business in person for the first time since March of 2020. This is a result of the governor's recently lifting the COVID state of emergency and restoring the normal operations of the New York State Open Meeting Law. I would like to welcome in person my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee that are present here today. We have Council Members Gibson, Ku, Levin, Gredenchik, Adams, Ayala, Chair Moya, Rivera, Chair Riley, and Feliz. I would also like to thank Chair Moya and Chair Riley for their work on our two subcommittees. Today we will vote on a number of applications referred out from both of our subcommittees. From our zoning subcommittee, we will vote to approve a pre-considered LUs for the 133rd uh, Beach, 116th Street rezoning, seeking a zoning map change under uh, ULERP number C210148ZMQ, relating to property in Council Member Overage's district in Queens. The rezoning would change the existing C1-3 zoning district to a C2-4 overlay district to facilitate a wider variety of local retail uses within the newly constructed as of right development within the rezoning area. The amended commercial overlay also allows for the applicant to apply for a BSA special permit to open a gym. We will vote to approve with modification preconsiders LUs for the B67 Street rezoning. This application is for a zoning map amendment under ULERP number C200230ZMQ and a related zoning text amendment under ULERP number N200231ZRQ and relates to property in Council Member Brooke Powers District in Queens. These actions will facilitate the development of two new buildings, including a nine story affordable independent residence for seniors, heirs providing 84 dwelling units and 11-story community facility building intended for use as a charter school. The existing two-story house of worship community center, the Battalion Pentecostal Assembly Church would remain. As proposed, the actions will also apply to an existing nursing home not controlled by the applicant across the street from the development site. We will modify this application to remove the nursing home site from the rezoning so as to avoid making it vulnerable to redevelopment as projected in the EAS. Council Member Brooke Powers could not be here today, but her statement was read into the record during our zoning subcommittee. From our landmark subcommittee, we will vote to approve LUs 820, an application submitted by the Landmarks Preservation Commission for the designation of Holy Rood at Picasso Church, Iglesia Santa Cruz, located in Manhattan at Block 2176, Lot 30, as a historic landmark. The site is located in Council Members and Council District represented by Council Members Rodriguez. The building is architecturally significant as a sophisticated and well-executed Gothic revival design and culturally significant as an important social and religious anchor for Washington Heights Latino community for the past 40 years. We will also vote to approve LUs 821, an application submitted by the Landmarks Preservation Commission for the designation of the educational building located at 75th Avenue in Manhattan as a historic landmark. A 12-story office and loft building built in 1912 through 1914, it is significant not only for its well-preserved architecture, but also because it houses the nation's office of the NAACP from 1914 to 1923, as well as numerous peace groups and social reform organizations. The landmark, the landmark site is located in the district represented by Speaker Johnson. We will also vote to approve two applications submitted by the Department of Housing Preservation and Development. We will vote to approve pre-considered LUs 813, the TBK1002, Riseboro, UDAP, and Article 11. This application requests approval of an urban development action area project. A waiver of the area designation requires that the requirements of sections 197-C and 197-D of the New York City Charter and approval of a real property tax exemption for property located at 135 Minahan Street, Block 3306, Lot 53 in Brooklyn Council District, represented by Council Member Dharma Diaz. These actions will facilitate the rehabilitation of a vacant six unit building for rental to families with annual household incomes of up to 120% 120 of AMI, with rent set at 60% of the AMI. We will also vote to approve preconsiders 814, the TBX1002, MP. 
MPD, UDAP, and Article 11 tax exemption. This application also requests approval of an urban development action area project, waiver of the area designation requirements and the requirements of sections 197C and 197D of the New York City Charter and approval of a real property tax exemption. The properties are located at 970 Anderson, Block 2504, Lot 70, and 1105 Tintin Avenue, Block 22661, Lot 52, in the Bronx and Council Members District, represented by Council Members Gibson and Ayala. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? All right. Seeing none, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and local council members and note that a vote of aye on all will be to adopt the following. To approve preconsiders LUs 133 Beach 116th Street rezoning number C2101480ZMQ, LUs 813, 814, 820, and 821. And to approve with modifications as I've described preconsiders LUs Beach 67th Street rezonings numbers C2002300 ZMQ and N200231 ZRQ. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye, I know. Gibson. Permission to explain? Council Member Gibson to explain her vote. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. Good morning, colleagues of the Land Use Committee. I just want to speak briefly about my land use application 2021530, which is 1105 Tintin Avenue in the Morrisania community of my district. This is a unit that was owned by the city for many years. It's 45 units, of which 29 are vacant. Uh, this building has unfortunately not been a, really given a lot of attention and has fallen into serious disrepair. Uh, today's action by the Land Use Committee and subsequent the City Council will really provide the opportunity for an affordable housing developer who we know in the Bronx, MBD, Mid-Bronx Desperados, who will take ownership of this building and will transform it into the affordable housing that every New Yorker truly deserves. Um, under the multifamily preservation loan program, MBD will gut the entire building. They will install new plumbing, upgrade the electrical HVAC system, new flooring, new roof, gas lines, all of which are necessary to revitalize this particular building. There will be energy efficiency appliances and upgrades uh, in all of the apartments as well as the commitment of the developer to maintain the rents at and below the 60% AMI and offering Section 8 vouchers to all eligible households. I'm very proud of this project, although it's only 45 units. Any opportunities that we have as a body to contribute to affordable housing in our districts and in the city is always a great step of progress. So I am supportive of this application. I want to thank the Land Use Division, led by Raju Mann. I want to thank Amy Levitan and her team for helping my team and I, and certainly Mid-Bronx Desperados and HPD, Ted Weinstein, for their support. And I ask all my colleagues to vote aye on this item, and I will be voting aye on today's agenda. Thank you so much. Thank you. Council Member Koo. I will, I will aye. Gordinchik. Aye. Adams. Aye on all. Thank you. Ayala. Aye. Moya. I would I. Thank you. Rivera. Aye. Riley. I vote aye on all. Feliz. Aye on all. Levin. Aye on all. By vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted as indicated on today's land use agenda. Thank you. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff, and the Sergeant of Arms for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned.